In one of our early videos, we discussed Ooh, Fighting Force Dini. as one of those underrated Bruh. PS1 games. A hidden gem that surely earned a spot in our top 5 greatest PS1 games, together with Legend of Dragoon. But we'll leave this one for another day. Fighting Force was my first PS1 game, a lucky close call, as I was able to choose between Fighting Force or Bubsy 3D. Never looked back, probably finished the game over 20 times, played it with friends, girlfriends, cousins, friends turned enemies as I'd rather just choose Smash at first, or end up just hitting each other. But all that aside, this game helped to reinforce the term bromance, especially when you complete the game with three continues left and manage to stop the evil Dr. Dex Zen. See, after this failed prediction of the world's demise, Dr. Dex Zen tries to destroy the world himself. Fortunately, the fighting force is there to save the day. The game is a 1997 3D beat em up, developed by Core Design and published by Eidos, in the same lines of classics such as Final Fight and Streets of Rage. It was released for the PlayStation, Windows and the Nintendo 64. You take the role of Hawk Manson, Ben Smasher Jackson, Mace Daniels and Alana McKendrick and battle through 7 expansive stages with 22 levels, some with branching paths, with each character's unique moves and combinations. You will need every move too, since up to 5 enemies may attack at once. In many ways, I look at Fighting Force as the last gasp of a traditional beat-em-up. The game began production as a sequel to The Streets of Rage 3, the popular Sega Mega Drive or aka Sega Genesis series, but due to licensing conflicts, took on a new name and face. Beat'em ups would continue to come out after Fighting Force, but none of them would preserve the original spirit of the genre in a 3D space. One memorable feature is the option to tear railings from the foundations and use them as weaponry, but the destruction continues to move on as you're able to pick up pipes, guns, knives, soda machines and colas and anything else that might just be lying around. Even car trunks could be hit to drop numerous other weapons. The game had all sorts of satisfying ways to smash those enemies up. Oh and for maximum carnage, tell a friend to use the other controller and tag team Zeng's cronies. This co-op functionality also truly added to the experience. Fighting Force 2 got away from the beat em up spirit, putting more emphasis on stealth instead. It also dropped the multiplayer angle and became a more traditional single player action adventure game. This in our opinion was to the game's own peril. All in all, Fighting Force will always be iconic. This classic beat em up remained faithful and most importantly aged well, especially for a time when the jump to 3D proved to be disastrous for the genre, but not for Fighting Force. This Retro Rewind is just a small gesture to a big and mostly forgotten childhood classic.